Hello guys, today we're about the weekend domestic talk. Which I'm not surprised that the box office is doing terrible because no one's gonna watch and it was in the last night at Soho. Especially the last night at Soho was hyped up by a lot of people on YouTube. And I was gonna say that movie's gonna flop and people got angry at me. Cause I said the movie was gonna underperform and flop. Flop and guess what? I was correct. Again, Halloween weekend is typically a horrible weekend for movies. It is typically not a good weekend. Even the movie that is called Halloween didn't do too well on Halloween weekend. Again. But yeah, this is the current box office and Dune is number one again. Dune has only made $15 million this weekend and it is going to make the $320 million it's going to need to make to break even. Which means, yep, don't worry about Dune. They're already making a sequel to it anyways, so... Yes, the Phantom Mask is saying it's a flop, but <laughs> they said Black Widow was a flop, even though those, they, it's literally the opposite. But <clears throat> they're also the ones that are always now pushing the No Time to Die flop narrative, which is a new one that they pushed around. Because some say claimed that, in that the movie needs $900 million to break even. Even though a movie, even though typically a movie, even though a movie of $250 million budget needs to make $500 million to become profitable. But again, the Phantom Mass narratives don't make any sense, so yeah. $292 million worldwide, Dune is a success, even if it is having abysmal ratings at the box office, because again, like Blade Runner is a more, it is a, it is a longer movie, which I have said in a while, with the exception of even like movies like Endgame, movies of longer one times typically have worse rigs than movies of shorter one times. Which is why animated movies typically have good rigs, because a lot of people don't really have a long attention span to keep up with a movie like Dune. Dune or Snacks Night does his rig, but then they'll watch like Halloween Kills, which is like, even though the movies can say they're horrible by the fans. Yeah, and it says, yeah, Halloween Kills, which isn't really doing too well, has made $115 million domestically. And, yep, yeah, there we go. The movie has made $115 million and $112, $206 million. And, yeah. Despite this, this movie only has a $20 million. So, even though. This movie is doing a biz movie, rigs wise, it is still doing pretty well profitability wise because this movie only needs only to make forty million dollars, and it just made it passed that around fifty million dollars, and also it's on a streaming service, so who knows how much it made on that? So next movie is the my is no time to die. Oh, not my academia. No time to die has made six hundred four million dollars, which is definitely far more than the five hundred million dollars needed. To make money. Again, $250 million budget. Again, you might say it has cost $300 million to make. Even then, it needs to make like $600 million. Or $620 million. But even then, this movie is still a worldwide success. The fandom mayors can try to use their narratives all they want. But this movie is not the flop they make it out to be. This movie is not the failure the fandom mayors has, not made, has made it out to be. And this movie has done really well in Europe. It has done really well in countries like, you know, UK, for example. Yes, it has that did release in China as well, which it will probably make $60 million in China because Bond is not very popular. I think it will probably end up around $660 or $700 million worldwide, like F9. It might even pass it. My Hero Academia. Yep, this movie. It's an anime movie. I think it's been the other one, which they only made $300 million, but yep. It is outselling the big anticipated releases of the month, which nobody's watching. Next is Venom to be Connors, which, which is going to pass $400 million worldwide. This movie is sinking domestically. It will likely barely pass $200 million domestically. And considering that the fact that The Eternals is coming out next year, uh, next year, next month, next week, this week, yeah, Venom to be Connors is likely going to be $190 million. Yo. And yep, the Eternals will likely continue making money at the box office. Not the Eternals, but no. Next is Ant Wars, with no one's watching. Again, not too surprising. It's another movie that, again, 
isn't based off anything, and I don't really think many people really care about Antlers. So yeah, it's another box office failure <laughs> as well. Then we have Last Night at Soul. Every It seems like everybody was hyping up this movie. The media, and of course, the movie critics. But like as expected, no one wants to see it. It seems this is another failure by the critics to push a movie that nobody cares about. And that is basically the last night so whole in a nutshell. Ron's Gone Wrong is another movie. Again, family movies continue to do horribly. It has gone back into the good rigs. But other than that, no one's watching this movie. It is another flop by Disney. Another failure like Last Duel. And it's basically another failure by Disney owned Fox. So, yep, there we go. But Ron's Gone Wrong. Another failure, essentially. The Adam's Family 2 was it probably had the best holdover because it's Halloween. This movie it needed to make sixty I think made sixty million dollars to make money and it has made eighty seven million dollars worldwide, so and of course that's like who the money made on streaming. <laughs> so any other wigs or it will likely make around fifty five million like the boss baby did because again, the boss baby fifty five million, I think this will probably make similar to the boss baby family business well domestically. So yeah, this movie did better than movies like Suicide Squad, which be is just you know, just yeah. Next is the French Dispatch. Again, this movie isn't really it's an indie movie, so yeah. And of course, this is the last week we'll be talking about Saints. Actually, probably second to last week. And Saints he had made four hundred thirty million dollars. So yep, that's basically about this video. Very underwhelming weekend because two movies released. Or box office barriers and box office bombs. And I'm surprised the Eternals is not on either of these leads. Because probably nobody cares about the Eternals. But yeah, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.